like to burn down twice. So there's very little original left. <laughs> this is probably one of the most active areas in this room right here. Well, I, I'll be honest, when I walked into this room, I could feel the energy change mm -hmm. as soon yeah. as I walked in here. Yep. Yeah. People automatically want to gravitate to the autopsy room in the basement. These ceilings, not original. These were fabs when they, um, after the second fire. Sure. There's probably another four feet above this that would have been the original ceiling. Wow. Yes. Same thing downstairs. Interesting. I love it. I am. And that, that I love chair. It. Which is beautiful. It is. It's very comfortable, too. Do you mind? No. Go for it. This is a comfy chair. Isn't it comfortable? <laughs> That's what I said, yeah. There's, some, there's something Let's, about that chair. You mind if we try some? No, go ahead. Who's up here with me as I'm sitting in the chair today? You can talk to me. It's okay. It took, it took a little bit, but that's typical. Is this one of the doctors by chance? Would it be better if I moved back to the chair? Come on, you just did it. I know you can do it again. Do you like that chair? I think it's comfortable. Do you think it's comfortable? Okay, should we continue on? Yeah. yeah please. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you. I'm trying to call this the doctor's stairway. Oh, it used to go to the third floor. Now oh. we, we have a, a ladder there. My my brother, after we, we bought the place, there was no access into the attic. And my brother came up here. This is where we keep the doctor's whiskey. He liked whiskey. So. We've also had the closed bottle go empty. So apparently, you know, he still likes it. So no. it's all good. So the mothers would stay over there. They'd give birth here. They'd go one way. The babies would go up the stairs into the nursery. Let's see if somebody's in here with us. With Pam's permission. Of course. Who's with us here in the birthing room now? Okay, let's try this. Could we have your name, please? We got a name. I I, I don't know what I it is what though. It is. To clean yeah. Up. yeah. Which is interesting. Well, thank so, you. Yes, whoever came through, thank you. Well, the one head nurse here, Bernice. She never became more than a, re a, a nurse. Right. She didn't get registered because she didn't want to go to another hospital. But all the staff said that she knew more than any RN out there. Now, do you ever notice anything moved when you come back two days later or whatever? Things will come up missing. Okay. My husband had a flashlight that came up missing. And... We searched all over for it. I said, well, you just need to ask for it back. Mm -hmm. And he asked for it back, and he found it right where he was looking for it to begin with. Awesome. So stuff like that happens. But, yeah, that that was, there was no explanation, and right. it stood out. I mean, it's easy to overlook things, you know. Because, right. you know, we aren't always here at the same time, or he might come and do something early in the day, and then when I come up for work, and I come up here and do something. Sure. So if I saw something like this laying I wouldn't necessarily think anything of it. Right. 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 But because of the yeah. events leading up to that and the fact that I was sitting right there. Yeah. But right behind you is the elevator shaft. Oh. So right above 
This light here is the doorway that Dr. Blanchard most likely came out of. I say most likely because I don't think anybody really knows. Okay. I kind of am leaning towards he fell from the third floor, landed on the elevator, and oh my gosh, bounced off, so to speak. In his obituary, it was listed that he fell 12 feet, which would have been the first floor where his office was. Okay. So down here is where they would have had their autopsy table. Oh my! This, these walls wouldn't have been here. Okay. So there's your table. Now over here, there are handprints from when the house was built. Oh my goodness, if he fell to the bottom. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. I, I was just asking a question. <laughs> That's all I was doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, Richard, you next. It's up to you. That's okay. the main bit of the tour. If you want to go back upstairs, look around more. Any place that you want to go and investigate, feel free. Let's go back up to that second floor just for a little bit. I don't want to take up a whole oh, yeah, no, ton no, of your time. I want to be respectful. I want to be respectful. You know, but maybe just. It's like he shouts something and then he just kind of talks like mm -hmm. normal. Who's interrupting him? <laughs> Doctor, is someone here interrupting you as we're trying to speak? my computer files like stuff that sessions that we did that I mean that is ours too you know see I think there's four four screens and then he has a projector oh, yeah. and he's got the external one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate it I tell you what we're gonna do I'm gonna give you final say on the DR60 and we're going to give Miss Pam her life back. <laughs> but I promise I will be back here one day. Is that okay? Miss Pam, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks thank for you. making the trip.